This is a student support video for Sports Facilities Assignment 2. Uh, again, key sections for this assignment are strategy, marketing, operations, staffing and programming. This video is in relation to staffing and will rely on the information already accumulated from Section 1 Strategy, Marketing and particularly Operations. Staffing section is again focused on the overall facility um, from a management perspective but specifically we're going to drill down to the sports hall environment and ancillary operational facilities that you've identified in section 3. So we're going to have an overview in this section of the ex the expected management and staff delivery structure. So I will be looking for your opinions of what the staffing structure should look like for the LC Sports Hall from management team down. The management team information will be available from the Bay Leisure website, not necessarily the LC website. And based on industry best practice, I would like you to identify what the staffing structure should look like for the sports hall and ancillary facilities needed to run the sports hall. And this will start from the corporate team, ignore the board. This will start from the corporate team, chief executive, down to frontline staff. This process will also require you to consider the amount of staff needed to run this facility during the opening times and consideration of what their key skill sets should be and processes and procedures and training that they may need. So essentially I'm looking for the corporate team to be identified with a brief about the core areas of knowledge and their influence on the sports hall environment through to the general management and operational management team at the LC, the higher level managers, through to team leaders or supervisory team, uh, shift managers, duty managers, example, down to the frontline staff. And the frontline staff will have a remit for maintenance through to delivery. And we need to consider all the aspects that from a staffing perspective, all the aspects that will be needed uh, to run this successful operation. So, to do that, I'd like you to some definitions of professional staff, and within that, I want you to be clear about at each layer what the specific jobs and tasks are and what is required of this staff how many of these staff are required and as we push down through the executive team through the middle management team to supervisor staff then I need you to consider best practice training requirements uh, skills and potential qualifications that they needed. The quest support uh, in terms of questions and best practice again I'd like you to use these as a guide uh, they have examples of best practice of what we would be looking for if we were auditing a facility like this and there are some questions in there like the, the one identified here um, this is in terms of duties then this is just best practice and guidance of what the industry would expect to see uh, some things of practical things like staff appearance uh, are there sufficient staff on site to deliver services uh, the attitudes and values now we can't make judgments on, on some of these but we can certainly make recommendations of what each level um, of the staff instructor should be doing and be able to do. This documentation is available to you. Um, the, 
the issues I want us to focus on are what should that structure look like for the sports hall and what key requirements are, are needed at each layer. The focus would be not on the executive and the general management team. I want you to consider that. I do want you to focus heavily on the supervisory team, the immediate supervisory team, team leaders, duty managers and frontline staff. So the, the sufficiency of staff but for specifically the, the training requirements and key skill sets that we'd be looking to identify or recommend that they, they should have in place. So in terms of job analysis, uh, a good place to start would be looking for job descriptions of similar types of roles for the LC. Uh, they may have job descriptions available via their website for frontline staff and that will identify what they're already doing and you may want to benchmark that against other similar types of facilities or other types of job descriptions out there. Uh, if you want to include any of these as examples then please put those in a mini appendix for this section. Uh, as a quick example for you, uh, you can deconstruct a job description by looking at uh, the duties and responsibilities, minimum requirements uh, and skills and abilities required. These are often standardised uh, and a good place to find some of this information would be through the Skills Sector Council website, Skills Active or the Chartered Institute for Sport and Physical Activity, SIMSPA. So there, there are often generic role descriptions or national occupational standards that you can look at that gives you an idea of what would be expected minimum requirements so I'd like you to focus on uh, management uh, in terms of the corporate and senior management team I don't want a huge amount of information but some of the, the key skill sets and what structures you would expect to see in this sports uh, sports hall environment. The supervisory team, however, I do want you to be, which is the immediate supervisory team, will also be part of the delivery team, so I do want you to take some time looking at these. And obviously the core frontline staff, what skills, abilities and training you would expect to see in that frontline staff and how many feasibly we should have in place. So in terms of core industry knowledge, this is information previously taken from National Occupational Standards where you can get some of this information from Skills Active. But uh, standard, the industry standard is, and through occupational standards, uh, core industry knowledge or all people working in the industry should have uh, knowledge of structure of sport and leisure in the UK, macro being the entire system uh, and micro maybe down into how community sport works or how um, uh, home nations governing body may work versus a, a great British body or the UK sport. Sports and leisure development then is looking at the key constructs of how sport works and again if you refer back through the quest documents you'd see some of these core concepts right the way through Quest because Quest is an audit of what people should be doing and examples of best practice. So sports and leisure professionals should understand club development, facility, volunteer development, coach education frameworks and management, how performance sport works and elite sport works. Uh, and these would be the minimum standard for the industry. In terms of skills, my, my advice for this next section, I'm not going to go through each one, uh, but what I would do is pause so you can get some of the information here. This again is a summary of some of the national occupational standards, but you need to consider what frontline core skills are needed for the sports hall. Some of these may be relevant, but you need to do a little bit more research around this. Uh, I don't want bullet point lists, I want you to try and identify and explain what key skill sets they should have use the quest framework uh, as examples plus other industry standards or academic research if you can find it so there are team leader core skills for you again examples taken from the national occupational standards supervisor general managers 
and corporate. You'll see that the, the bullet points will increase, but also that the skill sets will be vastly different from frontline delivery um, through to more strategic management. As an aside, the this is the pathway that we're taking you through in your program. First year through to third year, we're starting to develop the management and some issues around corporate skills. Within this review, I also want you to identify the technical qualifications, and again, the focus will be on the frontline staff and the 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 immediate supervisory team. I don't want you to consider training and technical qualifications for the the corporate team. Uh, and here, it will be very much based around the sports hall uh, and not the other ancillary support areas like reception or food and beverage. Although you may pay reference and say that and argue the case that sports hall casual staff will need to be multi-skilled and, and trained in those functional areas but don't necessarily want to go into the detail of the technical qualifications for those areas and obviously these these staff will need based on the, the potential programs need to be trained in, in key areas so I want you to consider that I've given you some examples here the fitness frameworks this is the reps framework for fitness some examples of some training frameworks for you UK coaching certificate sports coach UK sports leaders you should have examples of this and use materials that you've looked at in other modules such as sports coaching or workforce development I also need you to think about the non delivery technical training that they may need uh, in terms of cleaning or maintenance manual handling in terms of lifting and moving things health and safety. So I want you to consider and, and look at all the options available to you. So just to reiterate, this section is about initially identifying what you feel the management structure should look like for the sports hall environment uh, and then clearly identifying the skills and activities and qualifications that each will be doing through uh, job analysis uh, and use examples from other facilities look at sport wales uk sport and leisure opportunities for examples of job descriptions all have job boards uh, that you should be reviewing regularly but there'll be examples of frontline staff management staff corporate staff deconstruct the job descriptions to pull out some averages use quest to enhance and support that and the skills sector council information from skills active and SIMSPA, Chartered Institute for Sport and Physical Activity. All of that information should be able to help you construct this section.